New tonight, a now convicted killer faced a judge in a deadly Central Toledo stabbing from last year. A jury found Ann Hare guilty of murder, felonious assault, as well in the death of 60 year old Anthony Banks, as well as cruelty to animals because she didn't just attack Banks. We're getting a look at what happened to a dog that she also stabbed, and we do want to warn you. This story does contain graphic images of animal cruelty. Madeline Watkins with the story. Baby girl was stabbed in the head and the neck the same day her owner was killed. Not knowing if she would survive or not, the detective on the case, Danielle Mooney, knew she wanted baby girl, saying she felt it the second she saw the look in her eyes. I went home to my husband and asked him if it was a possibility to adopt her, if we would eventually be able to adopt her that day, like that evening. That's when Lucas County pit crew stepped in to help save baby girl's life. You know, we put her into a foster home and took care of her for, for quite some time uh, because the case was proceeding along and, you know, Detective Mooney had expressed an interest in seeing her, you know, all the way through to her recovery. Months later, baby girl was healthy enough to go home with Detective Mooney, learning how to be a dog again. You know, she's just the happiest, chunky little, you know, <laughs> dog you'd ever want to meet. Um, you would never really know, um, you know, what she went through. It's horrific to think of, um, you know, what she saw and, you know, what she suffered. Mooney says baby girl's story captivated the community's attention. And today, the duo left the courthouse to live out the rest of their lives together. Reporting in Toledo. They wanted justice for baby girl and we got it for her today. Madeline Watkins, WTOL 11.